Oh, sorry. I was just trying to help. You know, I thought I'd clean up the mess a little. Well, thanks, but um, if we're going to find out what caused this accident, everything has to stay right where it is for now. Well, I understand. Is there anything else I can do to help? Sure. Don't let anybody touch anything until I get back. You got it. During any investigation, evidence is a key element. When any of it's disturbed or destroyed, it's often impossible to piece together the rest to find out what actually happened. Oh, okay, sorry. Anybody get hurt? Yeah, Tom fell off the ladder. Oh, that's too bad. You can help by making sure that neither you nor any of your coworkers moves or touches anything unnecessarily after an accident. But what about during an accident? What's your role then? When you witness an accident in progress, you play a crucial part in the accident investigation. In this situation, think of yourself as a combination of photographer and reporter. Everything you see is vital information. It must be recorded and reported. That means your role when an accident is in progress is to take mental snapshots and later make notes of what you saw. The point is to try to see and remember everything a photographer would see and record on film and ask the kinds of questions a reporter would ask. Who, what, where, when, why? Oh! Oh, no! Who? I was standing about 10 feet from Mary. What? I saw her on her tiptoes reaching up and grabbing the chemical container. It tipped forward, and the cap fell right off as she brought it down. The chemical poured down on her. Where? We were in the chemical storage area. When? It was just before we broke for lunch. Why? Whoever used the can last must have forgotten to tighten the cap. If she had only used a stepladder to reach it, maybe she would have noticed the cap was loose. Randy did all the right things. He called for help immediately, and then he took all the other emergency measures he could until medical professionals arrived. Later, after she'd been taken to the hospital, he recalled the mental snapshots he had taken during the accident and jotted down some notes to make sure he would remember key facts. And then he went to see his supervisor. Reporting what you saw as soon as possible and as accurately as possible could be critical in determining the cause of an accident and preventing future accidents. You should always notify the appropriate person about all accidents and tell that person all you can about what happened. Um, that's about all I can tell you. That's quite a bit. You've got a good eye for detail. It's certainly helped. You've given us a good start for the investigation. And based on what you told me, I'm sure we can take steps to prevent this kind of accident from happening again. Well, I'm just glad I could have been of some help, but I just wish I could have helped Mary. It all happened too fast. Most accidents do happen too fast. Once they begin, there may be little you can do to stop them. That's why preventive measures are so important. But they can only be taken if you notify the proper authorities and tell them all you know. Which brings up an important question. Do you know who to report an accident to? If you're not sure, find out now. And here's another point to consider. It's best not to discuss what you saw with anyone until you've told the appropriate authorities what you witnessed. Too often, people's perceptions are clouded when they hear other people's accounts. Well, how did it happen? Well, I don't really know. I was way across the floor and I just happened to look up and I saw the ladder swaying back and forth and the next thing I know he's falling. I think he was trying to get a tool that was out of reach. Oh, I heard that he climbed off the ladder onto one of the shelves. And that he actually fell off the shelf, knocking the ladder over as he fell. Well, I was way across the floor. I don't know. I thought he was on top of the ladder, but maybe you're right. See what can happen when you discuss an accident before you report it? What if George's first impression was correct? Now he's probably going to tell his supervisor a completely different story. And speaking of stories, if you have one to tell about an accident, don't hesitate to tell it. That new guy, Ben, is bad news. He must have been some kind of jerk to let himself get hurt like that. It wasn't Ben's fault. I saw the whole thing. 
There was something wrong with that machine. I'm sure of it. Then why didn't you tell Mike about it when he asked you? I mean, he is the boss. If there's something wrong with that machine, somebody else could get hurt, too. I guess I could have said something. Yeah, you could have. Well, maybe it's not too late. Listen, if somebody's looking for me, tell them I'm in Mike's office. So, Rick, Whenever you have information about an accident, it's your responsibility to contribute to the accident investigation. Don't hesitate to come forward and tell what you know. What are you trying to say? Well, you know what happened with Ben. I saw the accident, and I think Ben got hurt because of the machine. It's not because he was being careless, like everyone's saying. That machine was acting up this morning. Well, why didn't you tell me all this the first time I talked to you? I don't know. I guess I just didn't want to get involved. Yeah, well, the next time you don't want to get involved, just remember that I need your help. Without your prompt cooperation, I can't investigate the accident properly. And if I can't do that, it can happen again. And who knows, you could be the next guy lying in the hospital. That's not a bad thing to remember. Next time, it could be you. So help make sure that there is no next time. Take the time, make the effort to report all accidents, no matter how small. Tell all you know, and do it right after the accident. The longer you wait, the more clouded your memory will be. As you've seen, you can help make your workplace safer. But it depends in large part on how you play your role in accident reporting and investigation. So let's quickly review the five main points you need to remember. One, assess the situation and get help if necessary. Two, don't disturb the area unless it's dangerous not to do so. Three, take a mental snapshot of the accident scene. Four, Notify appropriate company officials about what happened. And finally, five, contribute to the investigation. Don't be afraid to come forward and tell what you know. Let's hope you're never involved in an accident at work, as a witness or as a victim. But if you are, remember what you've seen and heard here today. Remember what an important role you can play in making your workplace safer for everyone, yourself included. Report all accidents and cooperate in all accident investigations. That's one of the best ways that you can help prevent future accidents.